Hey, welcome to Today Matters, our short devotional in the Word of God. This week, we've been talking about the purpose of our problems from the book of James. If you miss any of those, you can get them right here on our YouTube channel. Last week, I gave you three things to know about your problems. This week, we're really looking at three things you need to do with your problems. So I've already given you the first two in the previous devotionals, and today we're going to look at the third thing that you need to do. The third thing to do in the midst of your problems is trust. Trust. Trust God to know what's best for your life. you got to cooperate with his purpose so that you don't short-circuit the process. That's called faith. Verse 6 in chapter 1 of James says, But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Now, what does that mean? you got to believe God will answer your prayer. Believe God has a purpose and a plan behind whatever it is that you're going through right now. Now, it's not easy to have a joyful heart in the middle of problems. I get that. Even when you, ha- you, know, you want to have a joyful attitude, it's still difficult when problems seem to be coming at you left and right. right? I-, I get that. I live that too. You know? that- that's why you need to pray for two things. You pray for wisdom to understand the trial, and you pray for faith to endure the trial. You need both. Right, you need the wisdom to understand what's going on, but you need the faith to stick with it and stick through it. He says, man, i got to be able to hang in there. Faith gives us that never-give-up attitude. And here's the reality. You're never a failure at anything until you quit. And so many people don't know how close they are to success when they give up. It might be just that one more step. That line of victory is right there. It's just one more step. And so often people just, uh, they give up. You know, the Bible says that the devil wants to use problems to defeat you, but God wants to use those problems to develop you. So it's up to us. Is we going to let them defeat us or develop us? Which will it be to you? Now, some of you are going through some tough times right now. It's pretty hard. And what you need to know through all of that is God does care. So often we say God doesn't care. He cares. He cares about you very much. And God sees everything that you're going through. You know, the Bible's so clear. The very hairs of your head are numbered. Think about that. That's detail. He cares about the details. He knows exactly where you are. He cares. I always think about the idea that Jesus talked about a sparrow. When a bird dies, he knows about it. So he talks about how much more valuable we are to him. And he knows everything going on in our life. God is more interested in building your character, as we've mentioned, than in making your life comfortable. Okay? And we, we're always trying to make our life more comfortable. But once you've learned these qualities through all these problems, we've learned these, these character qualities that we need to learn, he may be free to remove that situation. But there are some things in life we're just never going to be free of this side of heaven, right? There are things like the Apostle Paul experienced, which was the thorn in his flesh. These irritations that God intends to use for good. You know, Richard Seams is a pastor and author, and I love what he wrote about these irritations in life. He said this, Life on earth would not be worth much if every source of irritation were removed. <laughs> Yet most of us rebel against the things that irritate us, and they count as heavy loss what ought to be rich gain. He said, we are told that the oyster is wiser, that when an irritating object like a a bit of sand gets under the mantle of his shell, that he simply covers it with the most precious part of his being and makes of it a pearl. See, that irritation that, that was causing, it stopped by, it was stopped by encrusting it with this pearly formation. A true pearl is therefore simply a victory over irritation. Every irritation that gets into our lives today is an opportunity for a pearl. The more irritations that are flinged at us, the more pearls we may have. And he goes on to say, we need only to welcome them and cover them completely with love, that most precious part of us. And the irritation will be smothered out as the pearl comes into being. What a store of pearls 
we may have if we will, he says, end quote. That is a fantastic promise in verse 12 of this uh, uh, chapter 1 of James. Listen to this fantastic promise. It's a result of doing what the Bible says. It says, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. God says there's going to be a reward. The rewards, the biggest rewards, are going to go to people who quietly put up with difficult situations and develop the character of Jesus Christ in their life. He says there's going to be a crown of life. Cast all your cares upon him, it goes on to say. Hey, let me encourage you. Why not cast all your cares upon him today? Because today matters. Mm-hmm.